Players Corner is brought to you by Deerwood Bank. Deerwood Bank has been helping Minnesotans with all their banking needs since 1910, with 13 locations throughout Minnesota, including two locations in the St. Cloud area. Deerwood Bank is proud to partner with Husky Athletics, Deerwood Bank member FDIC. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Players Corner. I'm Nick Spiliopoulos. With me, as always, Kevin Fitzgerald and Will Hammer. Will's back from load management. Kevin's sporting the Vikings jersey because he lost a friendly wager on episode 11. So let's kick uh, episode 12 off right away. Kev, what are your emotions having to put on that sweater? I hate it. I hate it with every part of me. Um, Can I take it off now? Uh, Will, what do you think? I think we should at least have him keep it on for half the episode. Okay. Let's let's say g- give us another five minutes. The fans, you know, whoever's watching, need to see you in the in the Vikings logo. So it feels yeah. good. It feels good seeing you wear that, especially you know Kevin's the loudest Bears fan in the house. So it's nice seeing him rep the Vikings logo for a little while. I am also the only Bears fan in the house, so I could be the quietest Bears fan as well. <laughs> pointing that out fair I mean I think I think that game was pretty close until Hakeem Hicks went down with an injury and then the hole just opened up for Dalvin and he took it from there uh you know not much you can really do about it Kevin when, when one of your best defensive linemen goes out with an injury yeah that hammy will get you every time just no answer for Delvin Cook you know they just put so much time and effort and focus just right on Delvin and Vikings came out on top. It was a big day for Vikings fans. It's been a tough year. Not a lot to cheer about at that point, but that was a nice highlight point. I will say the Vikings look good recently. Like, I don't know the numbers. I don't know the stats, but uh, I know they have looked good recently. Delvin Cook's been uh, playing pretty well. And um, the Bears, this is the first weekend we haven't lost in the past four weekends, five (laughs) weekends. Yeah. They were also on a bye, so take that for what it is. Something um, on the Jets mentality there, huh? Yeah, we're uh, can't lose if you don't play. But um, we're definitely looking forward to the Packers. I was kind of uh, getting the party started with uh, assistant coach Nick Oliver, who's a big Packers fan. Um, just kind of like a little setting the tone, letting him know that the Bears are coming this week. He's a big Packers fan, so had had to give it to him. Uh, you know, well, what about yesterday's game? That was that was disheartening. Well, what are your takeaways? Yeah, I don't know. It's t- like. I can't say that I've been tuned into all the Vikings game, but I was watching for most of the games, uh, most of the game uh, yesterday. And like Adam Thielen's catch, wow. Like that was exciting. Like in the fourth quarter, it's like, wow, the Vikings offense is really moving the ball along here. In typical, you know, Minnesota sports fashion, you know, you think they're looking great. They're doing, you know, you're like, wow, loss at the end. Tough loss, tough last drive hard to swallow we needed that one we're in must win you know every week is like a must win now especially against a team that was what two and seven or something like that Dallas Cowboys so it it hurts losing to Andy Dalton that's a dagger to the heart but we'll move on all right Kev I think if you want you can take off the sweatshirt now you your your punishment has been served gosh Good to get this thing back on. That's just some normalcy around here. Um, but, yeah, Will, you said it best. Every game from here on out is a must win. And the Bears, um, they're in familiar territory. I don't know if you guys uh, pay attention to the ESPN graphics, but the Bears, we're right where we want to be. We're in the hunt. We're ready. We're in the hunt. We've been in the hunt for those playoffs for about the past four years. But, uh, yeah, in the hunt, baby. Playoff time. I can smell it. Go Bears. All right, let's stop talking about football so we don't have to hear Kevin talk about the Bears anymore. <laughs> but uh, we're, we're in single digits now before December 1st. You guys play Western Michigan, um, you know, single digits. The preseason polls came out. What are the emotions now? I mean, we've talked about it a lot, but just knowing that you're getting a matter of days away now, like what do you guys, how do you guys feel? I think it's awesome. Um, we've been watching a lot of college hockey here at the house. Um, so it's awesome. We're, we're kind of, you know, chomping at the bit and practicing for, I don't even know how long now, but it feels like forever, but, um, yeah, we're ready to get out there, play some games. We've had a couple good scrimmages. Um, so yeah, I'm just ready to play someone other than our own team and, uh, ready to get down to the bubble. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I'm kind of right along with Kev there. You know, we've been practicing for a long time, you know, breaking down video and practice where we'd normally be breaking down game film. So, you know, looking forward to breaking down game film in the next week and 
um, playing some games with the guys. You know, we, we're always split into two teams amongst ourselves, so it'll be nice kind of being one big team. Kind of for the first time this year, you can see hey, <laughs> Kevin's ugly mud on my team rather than the other team, <laughs> which will be a change of pace, but that'll be good. Um, so, yeah, no, we're excited. Uh, you know, you can feel a little more this week. Like, you know, the last week we're just going through practice here until we get some games. You know, I think guys are excited, and at the same time they're ready. So, yeah, we're looking forward to Saturday Saturday, and hopping on that bus. Do you think – Go ahead, Kev. I'm sorry, Nick. That's like, I always, I'm sorry. Um, but it's kind of funny. Uh, we were talking the other day and, um, well, like we were, we were kind of like, we've had a couple of scrimmages against each other. We've been like chirping each other back and forth, like Will and I have, but it was so funny. Seamus the other day was like, I want to score and have like all the boys be happy. Not just like half the guys and like half the guys hate me. <laughs> like, so it was pretty funny when he said that, but yeah, definitely looking forward to, uh, playing with some of our guys and not against them. That's about in seven to eight, probably nine hour bus drive. But is it going to feel a lot longer knowing that you've got a game right around that corner? I think it'll be good. I think uh, we usually always bus down to Omaha. And so, you know, we've done that every year. I think we, we have as long as I've been here. So it's a familiar bus trip. And uh, I think the guys will have fun with it, kind of just like getting on the road. I think it'll actually move pretty quick. And Guys will enjoy, you know, each other on the bus, so that'll that'll be good, and I think there'll just be a lot of excitement. Yeah, this is the last time that uh, the three of us will do an episode when uh, we're all in St. Cloud. That's kind of crazy to think about it like that, but, uh, um, you know, it's November. We're 23 days in. Kev's mustache is coming in thick and pretty. When are those going to leave? Never. Never. Uh, I'm, I'm just kidding. Um yeah, I, I don't know. I, I think we're going to keep them through the bubble. Um, but, yeah, I've kind of just been letting the mustache run wild here lately. Um, been kind of just trying to let my hair run wild. Um, it's not running too far. But, um, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. Will, what do you think? I'm, I'm with you. I think we'll keep the stashes through the bubble. Um, I like the boys' efforts when coming to the stashes. Some people are naturally – oh, what's up, David? Yeah, come on, yeah, David. Come on, come oh, on, he's dude. too scared. Oh my God, he's so scared. Wow. Okay, one of the that was like one of the guys that can't grow really a mustache, but he's trying hard. Um, but some guys, you know, they really have a unique ability to put up a mustache. Like Nick Perbix, his looks good. Yeah. You know, so proud of him. But I could see us, yeah, day after the bubble, I'm probably zipping this thing off. Yeah, Andy's <laughs> gonna. Andy's got like the his is like super. Uh, like you can't see anything. Andy only grows facial hair right here, which is like an enigma in itself. <laughs> but um, he's going to, like, just for men color his mustache because there's, like, small little blonde hairs, and I just can't wait to see what that looks like. Well, I mean, it all started off as a good cause, and uh, now now you just get to have some fun with it. And I don't know, I can't wait to see because I'm pretty sure that a lot of programs are, are going to bring mustaches down into the bubble. So it'll be exciting to just see all the glorious mustaches that there are. <laughs> for the first 20 days uh, of December. Um, but guys, the the meat of today's topic or of today's episode, we're going to talk about music. Whether, do you guys like the, like, who's good, who's bad on locker room ox? What do you listen to in your own headphones? Just, you know, maybe if you're on a bus trip, what do you go to first or like right before the game, where do you go? Do you you go first of all. Well. Yeah. Uh, worse on Ox. I'm gonna throw that out there. I mean, for me, I hate to throw this guy under the bus. And, he's and it, gonna love let it. me just say, it could be anybody that you've played with here. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm gonna throw someone under the bus, and if he hears it, I'm sure I'm gonna get a text. But I, I did not like Robbie J on the Ox. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> that was a tough Ox for me. What he likes in music is really not up my forte. So uh, I'm gonna have to say Robbie J. Uh, and throw him under the bus there um but for myself i don't know i like a little bit of everything for sure i'm not really like a hard rap type of person but i do like like eminem and stuff like that i like a lot of rock but i mean my main thing is country for sure i got a country 2014 playlist on spotify i'm very happy about its followers but i think it's just because the name of my playlist is so generic country 2014 uh so if you want a nice uh, country playlist you know tune in to spotify he talks about it all the time. The playlist, the playlist. 
Uh, no, it is a pretty good playlist, though, Country 2014. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm kind of with Will. Uh, country, I mean, in the locker room, I feel like I've heard the song Starlight by John Party 4,000, <laughs> I just a million times. Like, they play it all the time. But a uh, great song. But, uh, yeah, Country. Um, I don't know. I like rock also. Like, I don't know if anybody's a Sirius XM subscriber, but Classic Vinyl is, like, my number one station. And then um, from there, The Highway. And then from there, Y2 Country. And then – I've got Pearl Jam Radio on there. Pearl Jam's probably my favorite band. Um, a little bit older. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I kind of like everything. Um, country, um, rock, I'd say, is my favorite. A um, little, little hip-hop or rap, I, I guess. Yeah, I'm in a, I'm in a hip-hop um, cultural st- or studies of hip-hop class here at St. Cloud State with Professor Dando, Dr. Dando. Um, awesome class. Learned a lot about hip-hop. But uh, shout-out to Dr. Dando. And Dr. Dando. Probably launch, but shout-out. Um, <laughs> But yeah, so I guess I'm um, just kind of all over the map. Surprising. Do you guys ever give like one of the European players the ox in the locker room, and do they just bring some some crazy music to the table, or no? With my my experience with the Europeans is they just have like a finish like a nightclub like it's just like a nightclub EDM in the locker room. Right. EDM like. Yep. You, it's like it's the same thing every time they're like oh, i'm gonna throw something different it's just like edm every time so we don't let them on the ox that much but every once in a while they'll hop on it when no one's paying attention and you'll be like what is going on and you know someone from finland's on ox yeah david uh david doesn't like like rock and i mean he kind of likes country but um like every time we get in the car he's like Oh, I will play music, and I think I'm just gonna take out my aux cord because I I just can't stand it. I just keep telling him like David, enough of the beep boop bop music. He loves it <laughs> so every time. Just beep boop bop, beep boop boop bop, beep boop boop. It's like literally I can't stand it anymore. Um, but yeah, I guess I guess that's that. I have to agree with Will. Yeah, kind of on the uh, like before games and stuff like that. We like have a set playlist that uh, the guys kind of well at least on the ice that we vote for and we like come together and try to find some good songs um but other than that someone has like a playlist for i think it's 90 minutes is it played 90 minutes 60 minutes before the game something like that and so that that's just like every home game that i'll just play so anyone wondering about that awesome well i mean it's always interesting to hear like you know how many different people can get hyped on certain different kinds of music and i think for me it's a little intriguing how people can get kind of pumped up to country music. I don't mind country music like in a normal setting, but if I'm going to go play a game and like try and get the adrenaline pump and I don't know if country would be the way that I go, but I mean, I think it, we have a synonymous vote that uh, Robbie Jackson, not the best ox in the locker room. If he ever comes back, he doesn't get it. Um, Kevin, I liked your story about uh, David in the car. You might just, just ditch the, ditch the whole radio, get rid of it all. Don't give him any opportunity. Mm-hmm. But uh, that'll wrap it up for this episode of the Players Corner. And before we go, just a reminder that this Players Corner is brought to you by Deerwood Bank. Deerwood Bank has been helping Minnesotans with all of their banking needs since 1910, with 13 locations throughout Minnesota, including two locations in the St. Cloud area. Deerwood Bank is proud to partner with Husky Athletics and the Players Corner. Deerwood Bank, member FDS. Can't wait to hear from you guys in the bubble. So take it easy, everyone. Mm-hmm.